Hi, this is Alan Shea, and I'm on the red carpet. And can I say, with Mr. Hollywood himself, can I say that? Yeah, I mean, you can say it a little bit. I, I say that's respectable. Well, you know, this gentleman has the package that he can turn Hollywood around by himself, but I want to be on your team. Can I do that? Can I do that? I mean, there's more. There's there's enough for all of us. So, yeah, let's let, let them on my team. Let's go. All right. Well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to get into a little of this incredible actor's journey because he is so awesome. I really want you viewers to hear this gentleman's journey to Hollywood. So give him a little bit about some of your background. Yeah. So, um, you know, I have a... A lot of people don't know this, but I have a backstory in, in foster care. And as some of you may know, I've been in two big films this year, uh, A Quiet Place Day One, as well as The Last of Us and uh, A Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm not new to Hollywood at all, but I'm definitely, um, I'm, I'm stepping my foot and I'm just here to break the ground. I'm here to put, uh, I'm, I'm here to just put us out there. You know, the kids who really have been working hard and have those struggles, we're going to come out here and we're going to take what's ours. Wow. So, you know, one, one of the things that made me truly inspired by this young man is not only does he have a compelling story, but he's a man who execute because he just shared with you some of the projects that he's already landed. And, and he's only, can I say 18? Just turned 18. Yeah. Fresh 18, man. <laughs> just turned 18. And if this is not an example of what we hope for our young, incredible uh, men and women of the industry, I don't know what to tell you. But what I'd like for him to share with, with the viewers, so you guys can see, none of this is scripted. It's really coming from our heart to make sure you viewers really are in tune with what Our Society TV brings to you and what we try and gather from, from all of the artists that come on the red carpet. So why don't you share with them a little bit what your thoughts were prior to you getting into acting coming out of the foster care system? I would say I was just a little, I was definitely a little scared, you know. Um, definitely coming out of foster care, you don't have a lot of support, you don't have the support system. And it was really just, you know, I have to find something. Uh, but acting wasn't something that, you know, was just for the money or the fame. It was a voice, it was a chance to go out there and and tell my story and tell uh, everybody else's story as well. Really, when I speak when I speak these words, I'm speaking for thousands of kids out there. And that's just the great thing about foster care and the great thing about struggling is we all have the same story and we all want a chance at life. And some of us are getting the opportunity to have a voice, other people aren't, but I'm, I'm going out there to give a voice to everybody. And that's, that's really what it is. It's we're all afraid, but we also have so much ambition and Instead of turning that ambition into anger or being angry at what happened in our past, we're going to use that as a voice and we're going to go out there and we're going to do what's great. And as I share with you viewers, you're hearing this right in the middle of a concert, as you can tell with the music in the background. But because this gentleman was so, so interesting, authentic and real, I wanted to make sure that we capture his story. One of the things I wanted to share with him is the introduction of one of my one of my trailblazers in the industry who I hope you're watching as we have this Miss Tiffany Haddish. What can I say is it a Whitney Houston? I would say this is maybe this might be a little Whitney, this might be a little, you know, um, Lisa from Saved by the Bell, you know, maybe a little Flojo, maybe a little you know the colors giving Whitney and uh, maybe a little Tina. It's giving a hot chick in South Ooh, Central 1987. Here is hopefully a gentleman that you can bring in and certainly show him a true part of her program that deals strictly with children from foster care. And Tiffany is such an awesome woman and such an awesome uh, person in the industry she would add a lot of value. So Tiffany, my queen, if you're watching, check us out. And this is all for you. So give Miss Tiffany Haddish a, a greeting that you'd like to meet her one day. A nice, loud, and romance her because she's beautiful. So make it happen. Hi, Miss Tiffany. Like you were saying, I imagine you're beautiful. Um, I would say anybody who, who's anybody who's going out there and doing things for these children, they're beautiful. 
inside and out in my opinion so uh, I'm, I, I hope that one day I get to meet you and maybe even work with you one day uh, but keep doing what you're doing keep going out there and fighting for these children because we need somebody and uh, we just need people to advocate for us and, and if you're out there doing it then it's going to create a wave or other people are going to want to do it too so you know um, we live in a very following world and I, and I would imagine you're like a leader so just continue to inspire the youth. Share with us Please, Tiffany, how important is it for people to understand the contribution to the foster care and what you're doing? Well, I think it's really important to contribute to the foster care system and helping these youth to become productive, amazing citizens because, first of all, they understand the courts, they uh, are resilient, and if a, a little bit of guidance, they can be amazing, productive citizens. And uh, I want that for us. Well, all I like to share with this incredible woman that I love. I go way back to Altadena days at Loma Alta Park. You were volunteering, you was out there, and you changed the community. And that was some hard work back in the day. And this is why I love her. And if she ever asks anything, I'm here for you to make it work. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. All right. It's all for you, Tiffany. Here's a young man that we work hard to make sure we can lift up and bring the other young people coming out of foster care into reality of entertainment. Here's one right next to you. So share with Tiffany and the rest of our viewers your Instagram page so they can follow you. Yeah, so my Instagram is going to be Zay versus Artist. That is Z-A-Y-V-S-A-R-T-I-S-T. -S or you can just look up Zay Domo Artist on any platforms. It's usually the first thing to pop up. So I hope you guys go and follow me and, you know, just let me know your stories too. I would love to hear it. I want to help everybody, as I said. You heard it for yourself. Let's make it work. I just want to thank you so much. Yes, and I really look forward to this young man's future because he brings a full package. So thank you so much. Yes, sir. I uh, hope to see you guys soon. Okay. I would say just look out for me on the screen. You know, give it a few years, but I'm going to be up there. And, uh, you know, any directors who are out there looking for a, a young black man with an afro, I'm out here. You know, I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> I heard that, <laughs> definitely. But before I let him go, since the music is on our side right now, share with, with Tiffany one more time what your hope would be to meet her. As the foundation evolves, what do you hope? What are you looking forward to next? Um, I'm looking forward to us being able to do even bigger and better things. Uh, like we've been getting the kids internships in companies they want to work at. We've been, uh, you know, helping them get housing, getting them life skills, getting scholarships for them, like granting scholarships. Um, anything more that I can do? I mean, I feel like I'm doing a lot. Maybe change some legislation. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello I mean, to benefit our children. Yeah. Um, I would say I would, I would like to meet you and, and really have a genuine conversation about your thoughts of foster care and maybe even give you a few insights because me, I grew up in it. So maybe I, you know, I, I, I'm a true believer and you can learn anything from anybody, no age. It doesn't matter really the, the influence. You can always learn from somebody. So I would love to learn from you and I would love if you, you know, listen to me and listen to my story and maybe we could, you know, create something great. So he shared it. Thank you so much. So Definitely. Much.